Hi students, welcome to my channel SRK English Academy. Today we discuss Toru Dutt's poem, The Lotus. Let's begin the poem. The Lotus uh, is a patriarchal sonnet. Sonnet is a poem of 14 lines. So the poem is divided into uh, two parts, octave uh, eight lines and a sestus, six lines. So the rhyme scheme is A B B A. A B B A C D C D D C. So let's see the rhyme scheme and rhyme flower, queen, bean, power. So flower, power rhymes, queen, bean rhymes. These two words rhyme. So A B B A A B B A tower, bower, mean, between, then. Rose, pride, shows, provide, died, blows. So this is a C D C, then D D C. This is a, a rhyme scheme A B B A A B B A C D C D D C. The lotus flower has uh, immense significance in Hindu mythology. And the present poem is about the queenliest flower, lotus. So the characters we come across in the poem are Love, Flora, Juno, Psyche. So these characters are from Roman mythology. Love is uh, Cupid, the Roman god of love. And Flora, the Roman goddess of flowers. Psyche, Psyche is a princess of outstanding beauty and Cupid's uh, love interest. So Juno, Juno a goddess is known for stately beauty. So these are uh, characters from uh, Roman mythology. So let's uh, read the lines. Uh, in the poem, uh, the, this is the first part of the poem, octave. This sets for the problem. And the second part uh, consisting of six lines offers the solution. So let's see uh, eight lines, octave part, first part. Love came to Flora asking for a flower that would of flowers be undisputed queen. Undisputed means without any dispute. So the god of love, Cupid, uh, comes to Flora, the Roman goddess of flowers and he asks her to name an undisputed uh, flower that would be the uh, queenliest of all that would be the uh, greatest of all flowers the lily and the rose long long had been rivals for that high honor rivals contestants or opponents so there is a quarrel between uh, two flowers for this position lily and a rose. So the lily and the rose have been uh, competing for the position for a, a long time. So who is great? Lily or rose? Which is the most uh, beautiful flower? Which is the greatest flower of all? So there is a, a quarrel. There is a fight between. There is a competition. Both these lily and rose are competing for a, a long time for this high, for this position. That. Bards of power, bards, poets, bards of power had sung their claims. So the poets uh, have their own claims about the most beautiful flower of all. The rose can never tower like the pale lily with her Juno mean. So here uh, Juno is, I have already told that a goddess known for stately beauty, a wife of uh, Jupiter. Mean means a person's look so here we can uh, understand that a rose cannot be a pale or tower or straight splendid like a lily and a lily cannot be as lovely as a rose so here lily is a uh, sacred to juno uh, the roman uh, goddess wife of uh, jupiter goddess of uh, fertility and protection. A rose is associated with the uh, Greek 
princess psyche greek goddess psyche so flowers here uh, here flowers are divided into uh, two groups or factions what is the lily lovelier thus between flower factions rang the strife in psyche's bower faction group so here what happened uh, both uh, the the all, uh, all the flowers they are divided into uh, two groups factions so they uh, started a debate in psyche's bower so in psyche's uh, garden they started a debate who is great some are supporting uh, lily some are supporting rose so the debate started who is the queenliest of all let's read the last lines of the poem sister give me a flower delicious as the rose and stately as the lily in her pride so uh, god is god of love cupid asks flora to give him a, a flower uh, which is a uh, delicious as a rose and uh, as great as a lily so here uh, the flora has taken the task to create a flower as delicious as a rose and as great as a lily so love next but of what color rose red love first rose then prayed no lily white or both provide so love first chooses a red rose later on uh, god of love changes his mind and uh, requests a white lily lily white but again uh, love pleads to provide a flower with both uh, qualities both provide both uh, qualities and colors so qualities of uh, rose and lily and colors of rose and lily and flora gave the lotus rose red dyed and lily white the queenliest flower that blows so toru here uh, flora presents the lotus flower which is a combination of rose red and lily white so here flora grants the wish of the love by creating the lotus so the flora creates the lotus which has the qualities of both the rose and the lily so to here the toru that delves uh, deeply into the different ideas of uh, beauty that the rose and the lily represents so here the lotus flower represents the synthesis of uh, eastern and western aesthetics let's know more about the poet torudatt tarulata datta she was born uh, in the year 1856 uh, in kolkata uh, to govind chandradatt and kshetramuni datta of uh, bengali family so she uh, died in the year 1877 at the age of 21 she died of uh, tuberculosis uh, tb on 30th august 1877 so she wrote uh, poetry in english and french so she was a uh, translator and poet uh, who wrote in uh, both english and french and she was proficient in bengali sanskrit english and french four like she was proficient in four languages so she is considered one of the founding figures of indo anglian literature and she has produced an impressive collection of poetry and prose so ancient or uh, popular work ancient ballads and legends of hindustan 1882 it's a collection of sanskrit poems translated into english published posthumously and the only work that appeared during thoreau's lifetime was a sheaf gleaned in french fields it's a collection of english translations of french poetry this is the summary of the poem the lotus 
including about the poet Thoru Dutt. Uh, these are short answer questions given in uh, Usmania University uh, semester 5 textbook. So subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you for watching this video.